Wakanda forever. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina 93 here. Today is going to be my review of Black Panther. I wasn't familiar with Black Panther until I saw Captain America Civil War, which is still considered one of the best superhero movies ever made. Here he is, as you can see. I mean, it is the same actor portraying Black Panther, Shadwick Boseman, and I'm so curious how good Black Panther movie is gonna be like. I mean, since I like Marvel superheroes and since he appeared in this movie, I mean, he seems like a, a great superhero. To be honest, I mean, I was having a lot of fun watching this alongside with my friends at theaters. And to tell you guys the truth, it is considered a great ass movie in 2018. And I suggest you should watch. Before we get into that, I want to say a lot of stuff about this movie, how it turned out to be. So let's get started, shall we? The story begins after the events of Captain America Civil War, like I was saying, when he was on Tony Stark's side at the time. After the death of his father, who was the king of African nation of Wakanda and died by the explosion in the building. His son, Tishala, couldn't save his father's life. So Tishala goes back home to Wakanda to take the place as the rightful king of Wakanda. Tishala still isn't ready to be a king as of now, so he asks for advices of his father by entering the dimension where he can see the, the deceased people and contact them. Meanwhile, Eric Killmonger, the Black Ops soldier, goes to visit at the museum to steal the Wakandan artifact in order to go to Wakanda. Eric is also the son of Njobu, who was killed and accused by his brother, Tishaka, for assisting black market arms dealer, Klau, on stealing vibranium from Wakanda. Tishaka had no other choice but to execute him for real. Eric wants to avenge his father by desperately going to Wakanda and take the throne from T'Challa to be the king of Wakanda. Suddenly, the conflict begins to appear. It is all up to T'Challa as a king and as a superhero called Black Panther to stop the evil forces to go to Wakanda and save his nation and the world at risk from the help of his allies. His former lover, Nakia, Okoye, the general head of the Dora Milaje, Tishala's younger sister and the princess Shuri, his queen mother Ramonda, and a member of the CIA, Everett. Will Tishala as Black Panther and his allies be able to save Wakanda and the rest of the world for that matter? Sooner you'll find out. Sorry, no spoilers to ruin for you everybody. So that is the story of Black Panther. I like how very well they directed the story, which is very easy, very detailed and less complicated to understand. Believe it or not, the story reminds me of The Lion King, for the most part, which the main protagonist takes the throne and the main antagonist seeks to take the throne as a ruler of the land. It is for what it is a story. What else can I say? The story is good at least. I liked it as well. The presentation overall is very, very impressive. I like how beautiful this movie looks in general. Like the settings and locations are great overall. I like the action sequences in this movie. How the CGI effects are constructed on the battles. Pretty awesome movesets they used during the sequences and the performances are very well done pretty much. The music in every environment they really fit in any situation that may happen and the parts that occur during the entire film. The costume designs are very nice. Black Panther costume is very well designed. 
The costume reminds me of Deadpool's costume. And speaking of Deadpool, I cannot wait for that sequel of Deadpool to come out this year. And also, Black Panther has some humor on it. I mean, there were some parts that may be funny, but I don't see as funny as Thor Ragnarok and Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, it wouldn't be that important for the review, but just saying for that matter, for every detail in this in this movie. As for the characters, I like the characterizations of every character portrayed from the famous actors. Chadwick Boseman came back to portray Black Panther after he did in Captain America Civil War. And also he's gonna be on the upcoming Avengers Infinity War. Please don't disappoint. Michael B. Jordan from The Creed. Awesome that he's in it. Denai Guerrera from The Walking Dead? Cool! She's in this movie. That's unexpected. The other actors did a very nice job being as their characters throughout the movie. Most actors did very well with their acting and performances for the most part. Overall, a very solid movie and a good start for 2018. This has to be one of the best superhero movies ever made. They did a fantastic job with it as a whole. Better than the other Marvel movies? Probably will be. We have to wait and see. So there you have it. That is my review of Black Panther. I highly recommend you check this out if you are into Marvel superheroes. Especially if you loved Captain America Civil War. I mean, you cannot go wrong with, with Black Panther. I mean, I expect this movie to be great and it turned out to be good from, from what I've said. And from what I've seen, I mean, it is so great that I cannot wait to see the sequels coming out next year's. You know that when, when the prequels are a success, of course they're going to do sequels of them. And they're going to have trilogies as well. And I expect Black Panther to have that as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below. And comment in the section below what you think about Black Panther, if you like it or not. It is your choice. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Just like that.